If you grow sweet corn or field corn in Texas, you will have corn earworm larvae infesting the ears. This insect overwinters in Texas, and there are multiple generations per year, and there are many non-corn hosts that it can go to when corn is not available. And this is both before, during, and after the growing season, so the insect is always present. The corn earworm is the same species as the cotton bollworm, a major cotton pest in Texas. It's highly attracted to corn as an egg laying site, especially corn that is in the soaking stage. In Texas, it is common to find one or more earworm larvae per ear in both sweet corn and field corn. Eggs are laid on green silks and they hatch in about three days. Young larvae then feed on silks as they make their way down to the tip of the ear. There they feed on ear tips and kernels and grow larger as they progress through their six larval instars or growth stages. Near the end of the sixth instar, the larvae leave the tip of the ear and move to the ground where they will burrow down and spend the next three weeks in the pupal stage. Adults will then emerge from the ground and start the cycle over. Earworm larvae can be yellow, pink, green, or other colors. There's really no standard color. However, there's always a light colored stripe on the side of the body, and there will be fine hairs or CT on the body, but you need a hand lens to see them. Mature sixth instar larvae are about an inch and a half long, and the adults are beige to yellow in color. They're a medium sized moth. Corn earworm larvae mostly just damage tip kernels in the ears. This has no economic consequence in field corn, but in sweet corn it can be a major loss of market value. Larval feeding on silks and ear tips has also been shown to promote higher mycotoxin levels because the ears are open to fungal pathogens. Insecticidal control of corn earworm is difficult because the eggs are laid directly on silks and the larvae can easily pass down the silk channel and then be protected from further insecticide applications once they're at the tip of the ear.